Hello everyone, it's Sovereign, your unknown Musa Senpai. We're going to keep this video short and we're going to go into Crystal Setup. The last video we talked about gear and for PvP and PvE, and today we're going to be talking about crystals, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's go to my sheet of garment.com. I will link this down in the description down below so you guys can look at this build. And in my last video, I went briefly over uh, some accessories and some gear that you will need for PvP and PvE. And basically, there are different swaps that you can do in terms of accuracy. But today, we're focusing on the crystal setup side. So let's go to our crystals. So there are three crystals here. Let's get to the main crystal setup. So this may be subject to change, and if it does change, I will change it in the pink comment section of this video. So just keep in mind that this could change, there could be new crystals. So this crystal setup is basically a HP, DR and accuracy crystal setup. It's basically for your awakening DR misers. You could change some of this around, I guess, for succession. Uh, maybe you can take off accuracy, a bit of accuracy. It's completely up to you. And this build has a lot of HP, DR and accuracy. With this build, we get 1,125 HP. We still consist of our having our crit hit damage. We have the new, is it called the Phoenix? No, it's called something else. I'm not going to name this because I will just butcher it anyway. But it's basically an OP crystal that gives a lot of um, good stat. Um, then we have a Jin. Uh, all across that gives us a, a knock knock down resist i don't know what to put in here you can change this if you really want to i just think that the moose's f key uh, used to be called sneering something but it's changed now i believe um the 10 percent extra ignore is good and you also get this ignore with having the l cards too so you're getting the 30 percent ignore knockdown which is quite nice um then we have the hp so the Rebellious, the Hooms, and you get the uh, a bit of HP from the Crystal of Courage as well. And that's pretty much it. So this is mostly a survival kind of build evolving around PvP. Not PvE, just PvP. So if you do this in uh, maybe Node Wars, this would be very good. Uh, it's pretty goddamn high HP. You might be able to get more HP. Uh, than this um, but I think it's all around pretty good it depends on what kind of node war you're doing I might make a tier 1 crystal setup for you guys uh, or tier 2 and 3 depends on the caps and I will give you that in the pink comment down below instead of making a new video so moving on to the next one and I don't really like this build I hardly ever use this build it's basically a human AP damage build and if this consists of the new crystal it gives you a lot of stats it gives you the crits the holocaust crystals I know you can change these for something else but I like the human damage on him and then the extra add crystal that PA gave us 5 AP you have your spirit crystals you have your Kame and then you have your vipers and you have your other vipers and then you have your ignore knockdown with your movement costume. So with this one, it gives you really low HP. It's 475 HP, which means you're going to be a glass cannon. But if you look at it, it gives you 51 accuracy and the hidden AP is 29. And it gives you a lot of human damage. If I can find it somewhere. Ah, here we go. Extra damage to humans, 56. So this... You could potentially get more um, messing around with the crystal setup and this is an old setup so th there might be a better one with the new crystals i'm not 100 percent sure but this is basically the equivalent of like a blur artifact crystal setup you would put this with your not not blur so you a uh, blight you would put this with a blight artifact setup which is for human damage and then you have something like 80 human damage or 90 human damage 
with the two setups together. Very strong, very powerful, but only good for just DR targets. If you're fighting an evasion target, you are going to miss a lot. Now, because Musa doesn't have an evasion debuff, we struggle to even hit DR targets. You're going to miss on his DR gear as uh, an awakened Musa uh, with no uh, with no accuracy modifiers. It's that bad on Musa. So that's why we go with this build. It gives you a little bit of accuracy um, and gives you a lot of HP. So moving on to the next one is your PVE crystal setup. This is really important and it works a little bit differently. So in Black Desert Online, you ha basically have monster caps and you will see this in Garmoth.com. So I recommend everyone to go to your Garmoth.com website, make your gear and on the left hand side, as you make your gear, you can see this little icon. It will say monster and hit. Uh, this will test your hit miss ratio on those monsters and it will also show you the brackets of the monsters, how much more damage you are doing um, with your crystal setup. So if you're over the bracket, you can then change those useless crystals around for more defensive crystals or more crystals like human damage that bypass the bracket. So keep in mind that. And now we go into the crystal setup. So this is the other crystal. And this is the version, the special crystal that can only have one. This is the PVE version of it. So it gives HP accuracy, item drop rate, uh, monster damage reduction, and it's all resist uh, extra AP against monsters, stamina, all special attack damage 1%, combat XP 75%, skill XP 75%, then you have your MP, WP, and SP 50. So pretty, pretty goddamn good uh, PB crystal. The 10% item drop rate is beautiful. You can also have the artifact of this and grind low end spots, uh, which gives you, I think the artifact gives you something like 20% drop rate as well. So with those two, you have like 30. I could be wrong about that. This is the new uh, crystal, the brutal crystal. And this gives you an additional back attack damage. This is really, really good for Musa. Musa has um, its SF key. I don't know what the name of it now is because they changed the names but um, of most of the skills um, but they used to I think it used to be called one step back um, and with that skill you can go directly into a back attack of the enemy so you basically just facing the enemy you press SF and you twist your camera around and now you're facing the enemy's back so you would use like I don't know, shift F um, or blow the belt uh, or F even, uh, snare, and, snare and slam, to CC them or do back attack damage. So these back attack damage, 2% is still good. And you can do this on your monsters as well. Uh, so you got 7 AP here, times 2 crystals, really good damage. Uh, rebellious, these are basically for damage and tankiness. These are beautiful crystals. So you get AP, you get monster AP, bit of skill, XP and HP. So having these are very important. Even in PvP builds, people use this still. It's still the one of the best crystals in the game. And they're probably like free build, I believe. At least I think in NA they are. You have your quick crystals here. And then you have your special um, Gandry crystals. Uh, all accuracy, attack, cast and speed 1%. Extra AP against monsters, 7 uh, and then you, in your middle crystal, you have your movement. I put two gins in here. Now this does change. This is one of the big things. If you're in succession, you might not need to have your gins, but just have a look. Again, hit miss ratio here. You can see if you're hitting the missing. If you are hitting without them, put more damage in it. For goodness sakes, you know you're doing yourself a favor. Then you have your dark fangs. This is your crit hit rate. Every level in crit hit rate gives a percentage to crit in the enemy. So you can actually go onto your counter if you press P 
and you will see uh, your hit uh, crit rate how it's affecting the enemy now we go into the last part of the crystal setup and this is the ancient magic crystal crimson flame power this basically just gives you a raw ap of five so if you're over the cap and you're doing things like demi humans what i recommend you doing is going for crystals like these just changing these crystals to demi demis and then you can do orcs if you want to do humans you can do things like vipers if i can spell viper properly you can put two vipers in here for your third one you can do a kame uh might not be able to put it in because of the way it's oh is it this one yes you could put like, maybe this one in there and then you get the benefits from the uh, monster damage and humans by the way in case any of you do not understand um, if you're fighting a human mob you still get points to extra damage against monsters extra damage against monsters covers every creature in the game every single creature that you fight even if it's just a one-shot crappy spider it still counts that damage so with this build you can see uh, you get a whopping of 87 monster AP. The hidden AP is not too bad. It's pretty good. It's 39. And then you get uh, 49 accuracy. So mostly there. With this build, you are suffering HP. And you're not really getting a crazy amount of um, accuracy. It's, this probably wouldn't be viable. If you took out the gins, you would you would flop so heavily in accuracy. So if we just remove these, you can see that you flop so heavily right here. Um, again, see what you're hitting, see what you're missing, work it out from there. If you're a succession user, you might be able to do the end game spots without him, like, like hex. I'm not really too sure. That's all we have time for today with this crystal guide. Whether you're a succession Musa or awakener Musa, I hope this guide helped you out. Thanks for watching, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, social media is on the screen and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.